Jax has confirmed another student diver died during training with CDA Technical Institute in February. The report says he drowned after a dive in Flamingo Lake. I'm John Bachman. I'm Emily Turner in for Tanika. Now this makes two diver deaths in just two months here in Jacksonville. Action News Jacks investigator Gretchen Kernbach is live at Flamingo Lake this evening. And Gretchen, you talked exclusively with two former CDA instructors. And they're asking if these two deaths at CDA Technical Institute could have been prevented. Now an online petition that was started just one day ago has drawn hundreds of signatures. And that petition wants all student dive operations to be stopped at CDA Technical Institute. Two deaths in two months. 41-year-old Fausto Martins and 34-year-old Victor Pierce both died while training with CDA Technical Institute. Action News Jacks first told you when Martins drowned during a training exercise in the Trout River last Thursday. Today, Action News Jacks obtained a second police report revealing the details of Pierce's death in Flamingo Lake in February. Witnesses told police Pierce was lagging behind the dive group. When they went to check on him, they said he was unresponsive. That's when fellow dive Divers pulled him in, called 911, and gave him CPR. Where was his dive buddy at? Like, you don't leave. Nobody leaves anybody. Former CDA instructor Christopher Martin tells me he quit his job at the school after witnessing unsafe practices. There's too many of us that know about it, and we're sick of it. Former CDA instructor Mike Barron says these deaths are nonsensical. How experienced was the instructor? According to Pierce's drowning report, one of the instructors on site was 26 years old. Bear believes that's too young to be teaching divers. You're eight to 10 years in at that point before you should be teaching a class. The report also states alcohol intoxication was a contributing factor in Pierce's death. Both Martin and Barron say if an instructor suspected anyone was under the influence, they shouldn't have been allowed in the water. Every instructor is supposed to inspect their divers before they get in the water, up to and including an alcohol breathalyzer test. Now, after two tragedies, the dive community is banding together. This online petition was started just yesterday. Petitioners want the school shut down. And it's not a game. It's over. And they need to know it's over. Now, those two are just the few of many who have reached out to reached out to me with concerns from or about CDA Technical Institute. Now, I also learned that over the past 10 years, JSO has been called out to CDA 356 times. Now, some of those calls include disputes such as assaults and or um, warrants served and even several suicides. And we also reached out to CDA once again, and we were told no comment. For local coverage you can count on on the north side, I'm Gretchen Kernbach, Action News Jack.